Thank you, Chris. We have continuing coverage now on the woman who stole a car with a baby in the back seat last year. Today, she was sentenced to a year and a half in prison. But she is eligible for alternative programs once incarcerated, and neighbors from where that incident happened think that she's getting off too easy. Now, this all started in August when 18-year-old Faith Rhodes stole a car in a Eugene neighborhood with one-year-old Milo Taylor in the back seat. Rhodes crashed that car nearly 20 minutes later and left baby Milo in the vehicle after she ran off. KZI 9 News reporter Emma Withrow talked to neighbors today who don't think that 18 months is a long enough sentence for Rhodes. I'm a, I'm a big believer in, uh, you know, justice, so it probably isn't enough time. Tim Maples was on Langer's Lane back in August when Rhodes hopped into someone else's car and took off with a baby inside. Somebody had just grabbed the car and, and uh, stole it right out of the driveway and the baby was in it. So when he heard that Rhodes was given an 18-month sentence, he was surprised. Kidnapping? <laughs> it's not very long. Bob Lane, the deputy district attorney, said they originally charged Rhodes with kidnapping but decided to play it safe. The defense was going to claim that she was unaware that the infant was in the, the vehicle, and if a jury had uh, agreed with them uh, on the remaining charges, if she was convicted, she would have only received probation. Lane tells me that baby Milo's mother was in court this morning when Rhodes received her sentence, and he believes that she is satisfied with the amount of punishment that Rhodes is receiving. Back on Langer Lane, Maple says it's all just a sign of the times. Everybody seems to be getting away with everything around here. In Eugene, Emma Withrow, KZI 9 News.